So Notion's finally done it, you guys. It's finally released a way to make a master calendar. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Micah Gonzalez, that's M-I-C-A, Gonzalez with a Z. And today we are taking a look at Notion Calendar, the free calendar app that Notion has just released. Now, if you're familiar with any kind of calendar app like Google Calendar, or Apple Calendar, or whatever, then this probably won't be super out of the box for you, but we are going to see just how Notion has made it even a better tool by integrating with its, you know, to-do list and database features and a little bit of extra stuff along the way. I'm pretty excited to get into this, so let's jump right in. So upon opening Notion Calendar, it does look like any other calendar app. You can see your agenda for the week. You can also toggle between different views, whether that's month, week, or day. And I do like that they have the same keyboard shortcuts that I already do use on Google Calendar. So that's just a nice little bonus. Um, you can customize your views and really, the, from my first impression is you can just do whatever you can do from the stuff that you're familiar with and that's honestly great You don't have to learn a bunch of new different things I don't want to spend too much time on the small nitty-gritty stuff just because if you're watching this video or if you've been on this channel Then you probably are already a regular calendar calendar app person So I'm not gonna just dive into those but I will show you how I intend to use notion calendar combined with the powers of notion you know the database app for how I can make this into my all-in-one major productivity daily to-do list, whatever. Uh, so let's get ahead and get started. Now for the magic to happen, I'm actually going to jump away from Notion Calendar and go to my main Notion. And then I'm going to show you how I might intend to create a master calendar from scratch. And right before I get into that, I know some of you have seen my creating a master content calendar um, video from scratch on Notion. And yes, this was before Notion Calendar, so I will also show you how to create uh, another way, create that master content calendar another way using this uh, new free app that we have, which is Notion Calendar. So just like giving you two different ways to use it, or if you're, you're already on that system, you're already using it, then you can just um, migrate it really easy i think you can do it in like one minute so let's get started so i have my notion pulled up here and i've already started creating a new page and i'm just going to create this in the way that i would use it so as some of you know i am a content creator i do a lot of things aside from content creating so you know like anybody i have a pretty busy life so i'm just going to show you how i might set this up if i were stumbling upon notion calendar and notion maybe for the first time so I'm gonna start with a to-do list. A lot of people like to start um, using Notion with as a to-do list, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, now, the one thing you need to know is that Notion Calendar syncs with a database, especially a database that has entries that have the date property. Now, that sounds like a lot of words, but essentially what you just wanna do is make sure that you're adding a table view or a calendar view. Now, for simplicity's sake, um, I'm a fan of doing the table view, but I will show you how to just uh, do this using a calendar view instead, in case you're more of a, you know, more visual person. So a calendar view for me would be best. And also you're going to see just how seamlessly that this transitions with um, Notion Calendar as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new database and let's just call this my to-do list in 2024. So I have gone ahead and populated this to-do list with a bunch of different stuff. And for the record, I actually really like viewing my to-do list in a calendar mode just because I like seeing my to-dos in the context of like the day. So I want to be able to get some kind of visual cue that I have to be doing this today, I have to be doing this tomorrow, or this is what my week looks like. That's just my personal preference. And you're gonna see this handy new little button that Notion has just introduced that's open in calendar. So if you click that, you're gonna see that my Notion Calendar app has opened up and it's just added in those to-dos that I have added to my to-do list database. So you might notice that the to-do list items are displayed in a way that they're kind of like all day events, they're full day events. And if you want to change that, you're gonna have to go back to Notion and start changing up the dates and adding in a time. So let me just go ahead and do that so you can see the difference. I just finished adding in times to every to-do on my to-do list database, so let's go ahead and look at Notion Calendar to see how they show up. Now right away you see that it has changed into from an all-day type of display to now a time-based event, and that's pretty much how I like to view my days. 
Aside from any database item being added into uh, Notion Calendar from Notion, you can also do the reverse. So what I mean by this is I can be on Notion Calendar and say I, I like to do time blocking. That's pretty a well-known fact about me. So for example, how I like to schedule my day is I like to look at like um, the tasks that I have to do as time blocks uh, versus like events that I might have to keep in mind or have to go to like meetings and stuff like that. So I will like block off this chunk of time and maybe go outline three new videos and then I can change um, where it goes right away. So if I select, uh, remember I called it the to-do list 2024, that database, it will be added into that same Notion databases that database that I first uh, created using the classic Notion app. So I can already see myself using this to create my daily agenda just to make sure that I'm not overloading myself in a day because if you, you know, if you're into productivity, I know it's very easy to feel like you're not getting enough done in a day. But when you view things based on, you know, from your waking hours down to, you know, your your evening routine, you can kind of see that you've done something that's for a full day. And I think that that's a really healthy way to look at things. And that's kind of why I prefer using calendar views for stuff. It just reminds myself that, hey, I've actually done a lot in a day and a to do list item. Uh, it could have taken me three hours to do one thing on my to-do list and on my to-do list it looks like just one thing but when I view it from my calendar and I see it took three hours to do then it just gives me more context and makes me feel a little bit better. So here's where things get really good. If you're a content creator or you just have a lot of different calendars, a lot of different databases for any reason, maybe you have different calendars for clients, different calendars for, for different projects, you can view all of them in one single space using Notion Calendar without having to set up all these different um, properties, views, and formulas with the classic Notion, which is what I did teach you guys in another different video about how I created my master content calendar from scratch before this app was introduced. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you already have these calendars set up on your Notion, for example, you have an Instagram calendar, you have a YouTube calendar, a blog calendar, then you can just go ahead and start with those and just repeat the same process that I showed you, which is to just uh, open up those databases. I'm assuming that your, your database items have dates or they're in a calendar view and then just hit this open in calendar button over here and you're pretty much good to go. But for anyone who's maybe starting from scratch, like myself, because I have a different, I had a different master calendar system. Um, I might want to create this from scratch. So let's just go ahead and say I have this IG calendar and I'm just going to add a calendar view and I'm going to create a new database and I'm just going to add like different post idea. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for a YouTube calendar. So let's just go and put that in here. So the exact same thing, I'm going to open up these things on Notion calendar and just going to wait for them to sync up and gonna do ahead, go ahead with the same thing. And depending on how many calendar views, calendar databases you have, you're just gonna wanna do the same thing. And again, as you can see, these post ideas, for me, when I create a content calendar, then I'm pretty much saying that this is the day that I wanna post these things. So for me, I do like seeing them in the all day view, seeing them at the top, just so I'm aware that this is supposed to go out today or, you know, just, if I have a team, then at least we all know what exactly is going out, so no conflicts and stuff. And then the rest of the, the stuff that's marked to a specific time or hour, I would like that to exist as sort of like my to-dos or my tasks or my events that are really are more time bound. If you already are using the system or the template that I showed you in my previous video, then it's pretty much the same process. You just have to open up the database that you're using or the, the template and then just go open up in calendar and you're just going to see the exact same things because I've already set up the master calendar to work similarly to this. So you already have your uh, content on the days that you want them published, but you also have these to do items, these action items that, uh, that are listed as to do lists. And the only thing you might want to do if you are already using that template is to just go into the to do's, the tasks on um, that specific planner and just um, peg a certain time to, to do them so that they appear kind of like an agenda. That's only if you prefer to do stuff like that, though. I mean, it's it's your calendar, it's your to-do list, you can be as flexible as you want. And I created that template for you to do as you want with it and to just like maximize it and not have to think about jumping between all these different Notion pages and just to be able to see what you had to do and how to put your content all in one place. So 
no matter what you do want to do with your Notion calendar, with this new amazing app that Notion has just given us, it really doesn't matter what you, how you want to use it. And there's really no wrong or right way to do it. Just um, hopefully the things that I have shown you in this video can kind of illustrate just what cool stuff you can do and how you can use it. And you can just take it from there. And as a bonus, I will show you this one cool feature that I think just absolutely blew my mind when I saw the Notion calendar uh, email that I got this morning is you can create scheduling links right from Notion calendar and then share it with anybody who you know, you're trying to schedule some kind of meeting with. So you can just do that with a handy shortcut. So just press S when you're on the app and you can create some, t some little like appointment blocks for when you want to be able to be available to meet up. So I just went and did that. And as you can see, you can click like a scheduling link and anyone that you send this message to. So if you copy this and you can send it to a friend or a coworker or a client, and then they can just schedule something right away. And it's gonna be added right to the calendar that you specify. So hopefully this video was nice and quick. Knowing me, probably not. But either way, I hope you got a lot of value out of this and that you got some new ideas on how to use this amazing new app that Notion has just given us. Do let me know in the comments how you intend to use Notion Calendar or what cool things you've discovered about Notion Calendar that maybe I should know about and maybe the community should know about. Just leave it in the comments below. I'm sure I'm not the only one who'd appreciate seeing that. And I'll see you in my next Notion video very soon. Bye!